Welcome to the NPC University. Today we're going to talk about VST and audio unit plugins. The Renaissance allows you to load up any of your third-party VST and audio unit plugins directly on a track the same way you would a program or a MIDI channel. The beautiful thing is that the NPC Renaissance can be used as a host or itself can become a VST or an audio unit plugin inside of your favorite DAW. The NPC Renaissance itself comes with four plugins to help you get started making music as fast as possible. I want to play my VSTs with the keyboard. So, I've connected my Akai Max 49 directly to the back of the USB hub on my MPC Renaissance. Loading a VST or an audio unit plugin is extremely simple. From the hardware, I would simply select in my instruments parameter, plugin. Then I can go to program and select from all of my VST or audio units plugins. Right now, let's select the bank. On my software, I can simply go to where it says instrument, select plugin, and I can add plugin. Now I have a list of all of my internal plugins and my VSTs. Let's add the WUB. I can access the sounds by playing the pads or the keyboard. I can call up the keyboard by pressing the edit button and a picture representation comes on my screen. I can then edit this program by moving my mouse or I can go into program edit. When I do this, I can see that all of my parameters are automatically auto-linked to all of my Q-Link controls. I have six pages, which gives me a total of 96 controls all at one time. All of these controls are automatable and customizable. One of the things that I love about the MPC Renaissance is that all of the parameters are automatically auto-linked to all of your Q-Link knobs. But this is easily customizable so that you can adjust to fit your workflow. It's very simple. On the hardware, I can simply select what I want to affect. Here I have the cutoff. And I can simply just change that to whatever parameter I wish. Let's go to resonance. It's that simple. On the software, I just pull from a drop down menu and select whatever parameter I want. Let's go back to cutoff. Now, in order to save this new customized bank, I can simply go back to the main page, save the bank as a program. As you can see, we've created a folder that says VST Maps. Click Save. And I can always call up the old bank. In fact, I can have multiple representations of this same plugin depending on how I want to work. And of course, it's important to remember that all of your parameters are automatable through the Q-Link knobs. If I play a sequence and I move my knob, I can go into overdub and record all of my movements. I hit overdub again. And as you can see, my movements are recorded. I can also go to my screen and edit my automation. Now let's take a look at the MPC as a plugin inside of our DAW. For this example, I'm going to be using Ableton Live with the MPC Renaissance as an audio unit plugin on a MIDI track. So what I've done is I've created a MIDI track, I've placed my MPC on that track, and I've created five clips that also contain program changes. With this, we can do some pretty interesting things with the MPC Renaissance. First of all, the transport control can control our DAW. Our MPC Renaissance is also acting as our sound card for our DAW. If I pull up my plugin, and I go to my preferences under edit and I go to other you'll notice something that says hardware transport this controls whether or not the record button will record to my DAW or record to my plugin if I have plugin selected 
I can now record inside of Renaissance. If I have DAW selected, I can now record inside of my DAW. There's another button down here called Program Change, where if I select Program, I can go back to my DAW and actually change the program by selecting different clips. Let's give this a try. You'll notice that my MPC Renaissance is on Dubstep Kit 1. Now when I press 2, we move to Dubstep Kit 2. Same sequence, we move to Dubstep Kit 3. Now if I go back into my preferences, go back to Other, and I select Sequence, now by selecting different clips, I can change what sequence is playing. As you noticed, it waits to the end of the sequence to switch to the next one. Again, if I open up my plugin, go back to my preferences. Lastly, I can select track, which will allow me to change what track I'm looking at on my plugin. To determine how my project is saved inside of my DAW, the MPC Renaissance gives you a couple options. Again, if I go to my edit page and my preferences, I look down here and I see DAW project size. Right now, I have it on no limit. But depending on what DAW I'm in, will tell me how I need to save. One megabyte is recommended for logic, all the way to no limit, which will save everything. I also have a selection that says always save in external files, which will mean that I would need to save both my DAW and my MPC Renaissance. You can set this up how you like to tailor to your own needs. This is Young Guru, and this has been MPC University. Thank you, and as always, remember to look at akaipro.com for all the latest updates.